a lot of you guys are investing in Alphabet, Alibaba, Google, and Microsoft for the emerging cloud business. But what if I told you that the cloud is not recession proof? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. So guys, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and drop a meow in that chat. You're watching more money. Let's get it. What's up guys. And this is something that I've been concerned about for a while. I did believe that pricing in the cloud business would start ticking downwards. And in Q2 of 2022, that's exactly what we're seeing. And the wall street journal just put out an article talking about just this concept. You can see here, the headline says it all. The cloud isn't recession proof and Amazon, Microsoft, and Google's cloud business are not immune to a slowing economy. But this section of their businesses has been such a bright spot for so long. What exactly is happening and why is it slowing down? Well, it overall just looks like it's a stormy season. You can see from back in mid 2021 in this chart, the growth of the three companies combined has dropped from the mid 30% range down to the high 20% range as of Q2 of 2022. And the slowest grower of the three is Microsoft. They're projected to grow at around 20% year over year this year. Analysts expect Amazon to grow at 32% their AWS segment and 38% for Google. But don't forget guys that the Google cloud business is much smaller than Amazon or Microsoft. So you would expect it to grow much faster. But the question remains, and this is the most important thing that you got to understand if you're an investor in these companies, why is the cloud business slowing down after growing so quickly? Well, it all comes down to usage. They discuss it in the article where they say that services such as Amazon, Microsoft, and Google depend on on usage by customers that can go up and down depending on the health of their businesses. Now, let me explain that a little bit. So the way subscribing to a cloud service works is that you have a base price and then on top of that base price, you pay a usage amount. So that total amount is the net fee that you pay. So if you're in a recessionary environment where you have fewer transactions because the consumer is slowing down, well, those fewer transactions will reduce the amount of cloud services that your offerings use and thus your cloud spend will decline. So consider it a lower cost of goods sold for the customer that's buying the cloud services. The other area that this article doesn't necessarily talk about is that I belong to a group of executives that all have been sort of talking about how to sort of cut costs in this environment. And one of the things that I do see coming up a lot is how can you reduce pricing for cloud services? You're seeing more and more executives be open to multi-year agreements that cost less. And in a report last week, UBS analysts did say that they had conversations with large customers of major cloud services. And effectively what they're saying is bottom line are checks down ticked relative to three months ago, which essentially says that there's slower migration and longer sales cycles on new deals, which wasn't the case just a year ago. So the conclusion here is that even the cloud can't float above a recession. Now I know exactly what you guys are thinking. Although Microsoft and Amazon could be pricey in terms of share price as a percentage of intrinsic value, I know a lot of you guys that watch this channel have been following Alphabet because Alphabet's share price as a percentage of its intrinsic value is considerably undervalued and it's even ranking high on the list that the Patreon trackers have access to. So how does this slower growth for the cloud business impact that valuation for Alphabet as a whole? Well, I got you. You can see that I've already forecasted a decline in the growth rate. So already in the valuation for Alphabet, there is a decline in the growth rate for their Google cloud business. But what about Microsoft? Because that's another model that the Patreons have access to. Well, you can see that for Microsoft, I did have the growth from 2023 to 2027, a bit higher at 25% a year. I do believe that they will achieve that, but notice that I'm also bringing their growth down to 15% a year subsequent to 2028. So 
there might be slower growth in 2023 and 2024 and then might pick up back in 2025. And there might be even faster than 15% of your growth in 2028 and beyond. So there might be sort of an averaging out there for Microsoft if my assumptions are incorrect here. And of course, because I talk so much about Alibaba on this channel, there are a lot of people who are concerned about Alibaba's cloud growth as well. Well, the one thing that I did mention in a previous video is that cloud is getting even tougher in China because of the state back offerings. And so how does this impact the Alibaba valuation? Well, I still am valuing Alibaba at approximately $300 per share. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I've already baked in a slower growing cloud segment at 15% a year. And so longtime viewers know that there's weakness in the Chinese cloud business due to the downturn in the economy and the migration of certain people to state-backed providers. But the question is, what is my most recent valuation of all of these companies relative to their intrinsic value? And before I get into that, guys, I just need to remind you that approximately 80% of the watch time on this channel is for people that are not subscribed. So please take a second and smash that subscribe button right now. Now let's get right into the valuation. So you can see that I would consider a terminal multiple for Alphabet of 22.5 times earnings maybe a little bit on the low end, but based on that multiple, I'm valuing the company at approximately $175. So it's trading at approximately 68% of its intrinsic value. And the reason why it's trading at 68% of its intrinsic value and not closer to that 50% of their intrinsic value that it was just a month ago is because it had such a fantastic run up over the last month. And so a lot of people that have been buying Alphabet, congratulations, you made like 20%. And what does Microsoft look like? Well, once again, I do believe a terminal multiple of 22.5 is low for Microsoft, but that's what I'm using. I'm valuing them at approximately $350 per share. And so based on their current share price of $286 per share, it's trading at approximately 80% of its intrinsic value. Now you guys know that I desperately want to buy Microsoft. And so I'm waiting for the share price to decline further. I hope it gets there, but this might be a company that I may not necessarily ever be able to buy, but I really, really, really want it in my portfolio. And of course, everyone's favorite Alibaba. You can see that I'm giving it a really low terminal multiple of 20 times earnings. And based on that, I'm valuing that company at approximately $300 per share. Note that this is a free cash flow per share valuation net of what I believe the stock-based compensation is gonna be in the future. And so this is trading at 30% of its intrinsic value. So of all the cloud providers, I do believe that in order of current discount to intrinsic value, you got number one, Alibaba, which is no surprise to anyone. Number two is Alphabet. And number three is Microsoft. I don't have a valuation for Amazon for you guys just yet. I'll have that for you guys next week. Now, you just saw three models, but how do you get access to all those models and the tracker that the Patreons get access to? Well, you can get access to all of that at the lower tier of the Patreons. And if you want to join us for a live epic presentation every month, you can join us at the upper tier. Now, the one thing that you guys did notice from this video is that I'm growing Alibaba's cloud business at the slowest rate relative to its US competitors. But the question is, why am I doing that? And I would encourage you that before you do anything, look into why that's happening. And I actually documented the whole reason in my Q1 analysis for Alibaba, which you can get to right here.